ECM Studios here in Cleveland. I'm Melissa Dykes with your NBC update. The Falcons lost a heartbreaker last Saturday, pushing Finley into a double overtime, but eventually fell to the Oilers 43-42. The Falcons came back to tie the game with 51 seconds left. Pedro Powell's three-yard touchdown run brought the Falcons within two, and Notre Dame finished an eight-point sequence moments later when Ray Russ found Mikhail Morgan on a two-point conversion attempt to make it 36-36. to In the second overtime, NDC scored first but came away with just six points when a point after attempt thing off the left upright and back into the field of play. An empowered Finley squad scored a touchdown and then converted on its extra point to finalize the hard fought 43-42 win. The Falcons defense produced a number of big plays. Linebacker Anthony Berry and defensive end Bob Hansen were uncontainable forces throughout much of the contest. They combined for 19 tackles, including seven tackles for losses. Running back Pedro Powell led an effective NDC ground attack, rushing for 162 yards and three touchdowns, making him the first player in NDC history to score 20 career touchdowns. Tune into ESPN 1540 WKNR2 today at 1 p.m. for Falcon Football Weekly, the 30-minute show with an insider look at Falcon football. Listen in as Dave Donato and head coach Adam Howard break down last week's game and preview this week's contest. Or check out the show live in the Falcon Cafe. The show will also be aired on ESPNCleveland.com and re-aired on Saturday morning at 6.30 a.m. on ESPN 850 WKNR. Week 6, the Falcons will be taking on the Lake Erie Storm at Brush High School on Saturday night, October 6th in Lyndhurst, Ohio at 7 p.m. sharp. Tune in next week with another post-game preview report with me, Melissa Dykes. Go Falcons!